Okay, areas of compound shapes. Compound means there's more than one shape involved. So we're going to find the area of that arrow. Um, can you see that there is a triangle? And we're just going to split them up into shapes that we know of because I don't have a formula for the a uh, area of an arrowhead. Um, but I certainly do have uh, an area of a rectangle. Hey, there's a rectangle. There's my length, which is 29, and there's my width, which is 18. Get a calculator, 29 times 18. So this little section in here is 522 square centimetres. Five twenty-two square centimeters. Yeah. Let's do the yellow now. Let's do the yellow. We're going to find that yellow. So it's a triangle. It's an upside-down triangle. Can you see this twenty-six here? Is that length there? And that's twenty-six. So the area of a triangle is a half base times height. It's a bit silly, but I'm going to call that my base, which is a half times 26. My height is a perpendicular height, so it's there. So I'm looking at the diagram going, what's this line here? That's 23. Calculator. That is, so I've got 522 there and 299 there. So let's go, the surface area is going to be 522 plus 821 and they're all in centimetre squares. Okay, so we've got two different shapes there and we're adding them together. Next. Hmm, I see a rectangle. But cut out of that rectangle is a semicircle. So I'm thinking to myself, let's find the area of that rectangle, which is length times width. But that's that whole rectangle. Yeah, so we want to take away this section here. So let's calculate what that section there is. Well, that's a half a circle. So the area of a circle is pi r squared, but it's a, a half a circle. We need to work out what my radius is, and let's do that in red, because it's hard. So a radius goes from the middle of the circle to the outside. We know that is 80, so the radius must be 40. 40 squared. A half times pi times 40 squared. It's really important to think here, lots of kids in exams, just get carried away, oh my gosh, I'm there, and they add it together. Can you see that we're not adding it? We need to subtract. We need to subtract that area away, don't we? We need to subtract that area away because it's being cut out of that, um, that rectangle. So it's not a plus, it's a minus. So what's 9600 minus 2513? So area equals uh, let's 
Let's hope my calculator's right. Something like that. And it's metre squared. So, the previous question was two different shapes added together. This one was two different shapes and I had to subtract one from the other. So compound events are either adding separate shapes or subtracting. Let's just do this one really quickly, hey? So I can see a square area equals length times width equals 18 times 18. Three, two, four. I can see two half circles, which is a full circle. Uh, always got to take your time. Radius is from the centre to the outside. And we know that that is my 18. So here R is 9. So it's pi times 9 squared. 254. Here it's clearly adding. So we've got a rectangle and we're adding these extra areas. That was a bit messy, wasn't it? So we are definitely adding them together. Area equals. Wow, could I make that any bigger? And it's centimetres squared. Let's hope that's the last one. Oh my gosh, go and have fun in that chapter.